Back here in Washington, there are some new developments in the January 6th investigation. The House Select Committee today released stunning new video that's raising questions about whether there was advanced reconnaissance inside the Capitol the day before the insurrection. We're also learning about what two key advisors to then Vice President Mike Pence will say at tomorrow's hearing. CBS's Robert Costo will have more on that in just a minute. But first, CBS's Scott McFarlane will start us off with that new video. The committee investigating the attack on the U.S. Capitol is focusing on the man in the gray sweatshirt. Seen on surveillance video taking photos of staircases and hallways in the Capitol complex on January 5th, the day before the attack. A day later, they say he was recording this video amid a crowd marching to the Capitol. We're coming in like white on rice for Pelosi, Nadler, <laughs> Schumer, even you, AOC. We're coming to take you out. We'll pull you out by your hairs. The committee says he was part of a tour group led by Georgia Republican Barry Loudermilk, some taking pictures of security checkpoints. The congressman denied any wrongdoing. I'm totally opposed and I condemn that kind of language. But no one in that group showed that type of aggression that day. I mean, they were just they were just here visiting. CBS News reached a member of the congressman's visiting group who also said it was not a reconnaissance mission, but the committee said the group stayed for several hours on a day the complex was closed to the public and photographed and recorded areas of the complex not typically of interest to tourists. Pennsylvania Democrat Brendan Boyle says this photo is a spot he's never seen photographed before and was near a sensitive area. That specific stairwell uh, was not too far away from where a large concentration of members were taken that afternoon while the insurrection was still going on in the Capitol. With the committee focused on this video, Congressman Loudermilk points to a report earlier this week from Capitol Police in which they say they reviewed the actions of that group from January 5th previously and found nothing suspicious. Nora? Really interesting, Scott.